get this one underway. Face-off X is the setting as this one is underway. Bryant comes out with the opening draw. Tried to flip it forward, and it does connect with its intended target, the swarming defense of BU Trackins for Bryant. Whistle brings us back into play. Stutter step move by Groninger. Double team comes. Ball is loose on the deck, and it's a turnover. Forced by the Terriers, who will have their first offensive set after an easy clear. It goes to the right of the post, being patrolled by Tegan Alexander. Alexander this season. As that one thrown toward the perimeter. BU with 16 seconds on the shot clock once this one finally comes back into play. But Alexander made eight saves, conceded 13 in the opener against Providence College. That was a win for Bryant's as they have done well against the Friars in their series history. Ten seconds on the shot clock for BU. They have it behind the cage looking for the pass. They get it. Got to move quickly. And that one forced and taken Alexander. Didn't even need to come and claim it. As the defenseman comes up with it. Good play by big number seven. Gets it back. Now goes man-to-man. -man. Corcoran beats his initial defender. The help comes over. That's the stick of Drew Lucas. The shot is saved by Alexander, and he keeps it in the crease. And the opening stop goes to the Bulldogs. It remains goalless. It's in that overtime come from behind victory. That shot from a tough angle is denied at the near post. Shot whipped in by Cates, who will pick up the loose ground ball. It's still up for grabs, flipped up there. Alexander tried to grab it in the big goalie cross, but got some help from a teammate. And picking up finally on the ground ball was Lucas. Bryant has had trouble getting it to this end of the field since the opening possession, but the clear is successful this time. And now they will slowing it down again. Well, at the end of the day, you have Coach Pauly for this BU team, an outstanding defensive coach with some outstanding offensive minds on his staff, going up against Brad Ross in his second season, who is an offensive-minded coach. As that one is scored, and Bryant is on the board. First goal from Jack Lonsinger, his fourth of the year. All set up by a good pass. Lonsinger coming off a four-point season opener, I should say, against Providence College. Got free, got right on the doorstep, and made that look easy putting it past Will Barnes. Off a good pass as well. Take another look. Watch Lonsinger sort of work his way behind Dane DeGoler. Got the lane. Dialto hasn't had a much since the opening couple of possessions as Jimmy Corr weaves around, gives up the pass. Good feed into the middle, and BU is on the board. It's Thomas Niedringhaus coming into the slot and a one-time finish, very similar to Lonsinger from point blank. Uh, what a pass to set up Niedringhaus. Got it in stride. Looks like the assist will go to Perfetto. How fitting. We talked about him at the top of the broadcast as well. Perfect pass to the grad student. Pair of graduate students. Against the Catamounts of Vermont. Bryant successful for a third time from the faceoff X. And the spinning finish inside gives Bryant back the lead in short order. Great finish by Kevin Groninger. And he has his fifth goal of the season, and it spurs a quick timeout from Ryan Poli. It's going to be a media timeout, but first we've got to see a nice pass and a great spin finish. So as we head to a media timeout here on ESPN+, Plus, it is the Visitors with a slender one-goal lead. It's Bryant 2. Point of this first quarter, Mason Stelf, Paul Lambert. Pleasure to have you as the commuter rail goes by in the distance. And Bryant takes another face-off win. They have had the edge there in the first eight minutes. And it looks like both teams starting to settle in. Speaking of settling in, it's the same exact play that they've scored on now not once but twice as Timmy Hackett makes it 3-1 Bulldogs. Talk about the returning scores, the experience for Bryant and BU. 
Another graduate student in Hackett. Had a goal and two assists against the Friars. Another pass catches him in stride. Passing for the Friars. And Terriers has gotten better as this first has gone on. Clear. Will Ronan. Gets it to a teammate. That's Luca Lietti. And the Bulldogs do indeed clear the ball. And I like the patience from Bryant here in the first. You've held BU to one goal, which I think is more important than the fact you've scored the three in this first period. But you want to take your time, limit the possessions, score on the ones you get. Ball in the stick of John Tomshek. Tomshek draws two defenders. They go behind the cage. That's where they've been successful. Every time they've gone behind, it's been a quick swing and a score as Groninger has two. 4-1 Bulldogs. Timeout BU. Passing has again been on point for Bryant. Forcing the Terriers into another timeout. Not only are they creating stops on the other side, holding the Terriers to one goal, Mason, they've also tacked on the goals. Groninger with his second of the game, sixth of the season. He had four full 56 seconds on the shot clock. Get a look you like, and then you're up a man. Potential huge turn. They have it in the stick of Timmy Hackett. That ball is going to be touched, but now the penalty will indeed be whistled. So That's for a the first time today, a team goes man down, and it is the Terriers already trailing by three. You're going to see it right here, and it's pretty obvious. Yeah, it's cut and dry, like Calderon with the contact. But what a stop for Barnes in the cage, because then you prevent really a it's, – it's, it's a goal, but that feels like a two-goal. Starting him this time is Will Ronan. Still D'Alto. Two defenders come. 17 seconds on the shot clock. BU with the long skip pass. That one from distance. Alexander blocks it. Is it still in the crease? Everybody pig piling on top. That ball is outside the blue circle. So who will they give it to? And they say they are, they are going to say it was in the crease. So Tegan Alexander is claiming it. It was very close. Alexander was able to get it. It is a 4 1 lead for Bryant over the 15th ranked BU Terriers. And it's another face off victory for Liberty and the Bulldogs. That's been the story, and it continues to be the story. Played on one bounce and reset by Timmy Hackett. Matched up with Roy Meyer, the other Duaradon nominee on this BU roster. A little bit small at 5'10", but boy, is he arguably the best long stick midi, not just in the Patriot League. He might be the best long pole in the nation. As that one slips through, BU on a tight angle, could not keep it out. And a great shot by Mason Druin gets his third of the campaign. 5'10", senior from Denver. This is the first time BU has had possession. It is 5-1 Bryant, certainly not out of reach. This is a long game, but BU needs a goal and needs it badly. And they get one! Whipped home on the sidearm. Gorgeous finish by Tommy Bork. This is a brilliant effort. That's a way to get your first goal of the season, Bork. He goes up top and flat out beat Alexander. Ball was to the back of the cage before Alexander's stick was up. Such a laser. Answer and make this lead four again. Bryant has it wide right. BU looking to ride their defense to get back into this game. It's been a really strong defensive unit, sometimes a little bit overshadowed by the potency of the offense, but the skip pass finds its way, and Kevin Groninger has his hattie. The six-foot graduate student from San Juan Capistrano gets it on the skip pass. Watch this go top right to bottom left in a blink of an eye. Yeah, set up on a, an excellent pass from Aiden Goltz. Goltz will get a well. Spinning and looking is Perfetto. Lewis reverses direction. The center cut off and then a high look. This one will come out toward midfield and... Able to keep it alive was O'Connell. Jimmy moves it to his left. 
Spin move by Niedringhaus. One of just the two goals for BU as we approach the midpoint of the second. Stutter step. Moved out. Sidearm slot. No. It has been a good day for the Bryant Bulldogs as they have won all 10 faceoffs. They lead it 6-2 to two over the 15th ranked team in the country. The BU Terriers here from Nickerson Field. And that's a good takeaway. Reading it through the air and picking it off was Luke Davis. Clear is successful. That one bounces up, and Bryant's going to take it right back. It has moved so fast that they have a chance. So the Terriers need to stop here as you get a look at the chance on Alexander that he turned aside. And really was fortuitous for Lietti that it got him in stride and he was able to get down the other end of the field. It's just been the way it's gone. Even the funny bounces have gone the Bulldogs' way. And when you're playing well, you get the bounces. It's just the way sports work. One and Hackett, that's Timmy Hackett, has one. BU's two goals coming from Tommy Bork and Thomas Niedringhaus. And BU, again, line. Neither team has scored here in the third. Hackett swings it right to left. Initial defender beaten. Barnes couldn't get the rebound, and it's stuffed in up front. And Jack Lonsinger has his second today. Off another ricochet that goes right to a Bulldog. Lonsinger, you could say it's luck, right place, right time, but this is credit to the Bulldogs for getting themselves on the doorstep again. See Lonsinger, he's able to beat a mess of Terriers in, got a good look, put it in. And that next goal we talked about would be important and hope that your teammates are able to get to it or it takes a bounce to a Terrier. That time didn't. And again, Bryant slowing things down. They've already burned off half of this third period. I'm just down to seven minutes to go in it. That pass found its target, and it's the second tight angle shot today that's gone home. And Jack Lonsinger joins the hat trick party. Three for Groninger, and now three for Jack Lonsinger. Well, that's a way to go into your media timeout if you're Bryant. Up eight to two. Defense doing its thing. Offense finding its spots. Jack Lonsinger, the second Bulldog with that hat trick, Mason. So we take the media timeout. None too soon for the Terriers. They are down a half dozen. As we head to break here on ESPN+, Plus. it's Bryant 8 and BU 2. Team is good on the offensive end, typically is BU. They are not out of reach, but they are still looking for their first score of the second half, and they've only scored once in each of the first two quarters. Pass behind the net, Niedringhaus. To the right-hand side. Back behind once again, stepped right. Moves it out. Niedringhaus again. Has that ball flipped out of his stick, and it almost went in. Did it go in? No. Almost a fluky goal. B would have taken it, but they just can't get a bounce even there to go their direction. Uh, one off the crossbar, one off the pipe here in the third period, and here come the Bulldogs playing fast. A chance to whip one high, and it's in. Patrick Walsh scores his second of his young career. The lead is seven, and Bryant is turning what could have been a classic into a potential route. Well, we talk about Bryant, they they have controlled the pace of play. We've seen them play slow this really since the the entire game, but boy, off of the this Bryant has been on the offensive end, it's been the defensive side where they have shown as that one another unforced error brings it out toward midfield. BU maintains possession. But even a pass like that, somehow it's as if there's a hole in the stick, goes right back through it. Shot attempt, gets in, and BU finally breaks the long drought, and it's a big one. 
The goal scored by Jake Cates, and boy, did they need it. They sure did, and this is something we haven't seen a ton of is BUE being able to sort of get in stride to its own shooting lanes. Cates, who had five goals in the season opener. Can BU get a stop heading into the fourth quarter? The pass to the left wing. Pass got through. It went through everyone, and it left a wide-open man to tuck in toward the end. And Kevin Groninger has his fourth of the afternoon. And Bryant has been so good at finishing, just in, in terms of them gaining momentum back going into the fourth. Talked about what a two-goal swing for BU would do. It did get through everybody. Groninger's there. He sort of set the tone with two goals early on in the game. Had been done. It's uh, every teams have struggled to do it. We talked about it earlier on. BU scored at least eight goals in every game last season. You see the number, just three, with 48 minutes gone tonight. It is only February, but what it is crazy is that when this shot clock hits triple zeros, we'll be more than 20% of the way through the season. We've played a week. It is a short but very, very compact schedule. Two months, four months, 14 games, and a goal for BU as that one sneaks inside that far post, and BU absolutely needed it. It's Perfetto, who has an assist in this game, who now scores his first goal of the day, now up to nine this season and a ridiculous 17 points through just two plus games. And Perfetto does a good job working past both Alexanders. He beat Tanner to get the shooting lane, beats Tegan for the goal. Tried to pass it off, but Jake Cates ended up throwing it to the Bulldogs instead and then drawing with the official as we have a chance for a breakaway for Bryant, but they will do the smart thing if they can and just take more time off the clock. That's Tegan Alexander who took the ball all the way up. And it eventually finds its way to Mason Druin, and Druin makes it 11-4, and these Bryant faithful continue to celebrate. Could be the biggest win in Brad Ross's short two-year tenure in charge of these Bulldogs as he is dominating the 15th-ranked team in the country right now. You said it. Don't be surprised. Or it bowls for the Bulldogs, and... These are all must stops, but you said it two for Bryant. Taking the shot clock down the full 80 seconds. Again, you do the math on it, that's about as good as it gets in terms of scoring, but be you a big answer. We still have more than the entire second half of this quarter to play. A good shot by Perfetto as he has started to put BU on his back. He has scored his second goal of the quarter. That's his third point of the day. And that's a really nice pass. So we will head to a break, our final media timeout, as with 7.36 to play in the fourth quarter, it's Bryant 11, BU 5. You're watching the Patriot League on ESPN+. Plus. You'd expect at this point in the season, but you still have that game against UMBC in a month's time circled. Bryant takes advantage as they try to put a little bit of a press on and wrapping around the far side cage and tucking it in was Tommy Hack or Johnny Hackett. And Johnny matches his brother with a goal today. Today, as both Hackett brothers on the score sheet. Yeah, goal is left open. Hackett wins the race to the lane. And Bryant really. And Bryant will see out these final few seconds. And that reaction from the bench says it all. They will go and swarm Tegan Alexander. And a dominant performance against a ranked foe on the road. If Bryant Lacrosse wasn't on the map before, it is now. As they take down BU here at Nickerson Field, 12-6. Paul, your final thoughts. Well, it's a big win for Bryant for a lot of reasons. This is you're avenging a, a tough loss from last season, not you're going up against a ranked opponent on the road early on trying to defend that sort of uh, your honor for 